Greetings and salutations, everybody. It is currently 12.15 a.m. at night, and Blizzard goes ahead and posts a new cinematic, a new video, this late. And it's about Sarfang. So, of course, we're going to react to it. Of course, we're going to talk about it. Uh, I'll do what I usually do, but I just freshened up for you guys. I took a shower. If That's why my hair's all wet. That's why I kind of look maybe a little weird. It's dark out, clearly, as you can see behind me. Um... But uh, I even have my air conditioner off for you guys, and it is hot. It is super hot right now. But anyways, enough about my personal issues. Let's talk about Sarfang. So recently, we had the cinematic of Sylvanas Warbringers, and it has brought up so much controversy that I was working on a script about it. And it uh, currently needs to be viewed by my friend, but otherwise, the video is done. The video is ready for you guys to see, sort of. But anyways... Blizzard goes ahead and posts this video about Sarfang. I have no idea what it's about, but I'm willing to bet it's the aftermath of Todrasil. It is the aftermath of the burning of Todrasil and how that's coping with Sarfang. And I'm willing to bet that's going to trigger the memories of him slaughtering the Draenei and Shatrath, because it's mentioned in a little booklet. So, I, again, I haven't seen the video yet, so I'm, this is just a speculation right now. But if you don't know anything about Sarfang, Sarfang is the brother of Broxigar. Whether he's the older brother or the younger brother, it's not explained, but I'm assuming he's the older brother. So Sarfang, being the older or younger brother of Sar the the one orc to damage and injure Sargeras, even if it's a little tiny wound, that's a lot to live up to. He was the second command of Ogrim Doomhammer and was a trusted advisor to both Garrosh and Thrall. And currently, he is the most honorable Horde leader at this time, in my opinion. Of course, there's Bane, of course, there's Lorthamar, but Sarfang is the loudest when it comes to opposing Sylvanas. And Sylvanas has done some pretty nasty stuff lately that is pertained to her character. I'm not going to fight that, I'm not going to, you know, try to avoid that. Sylvanas is a villain now. She always has been more of a villain, but... I think it's basically confirmed now that she is on the path of villainy. And it's sad, but let's go ahead see what Sarfang has to say about this. See what Sarfang is even going to do about this. I'm excited. I pretty much rushed my shower because I wanted to see this so badly. I even shaved, I brushed my teeth, I did everything to get ready to look somewhat decent late at night to see this video. So let's go ahead, jump right in. See what Sarfang has to say, has to do. I'm really excited to see what he has to do, because I love orcs. If you know me, I love veteran orcs. That's why I roleplay one on Warmer's Accord. So anyways, let's get right into this. I've delayed enough. I'm really curious to see what this is about, and I'm just looking really forward to this. So hold on. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited, guys. Alright, this is Cinematic Old Soldier, which is why I think it's about his past with the... Uh, with the Horde, pertaining in the Second, First, or Third War. Alright, so, in three, two, one, go. Let's see what Sarfang has to do or say. <gasps> Northrend, I wasn't expecting that. I would have still. Oh man, this looks so good. Oh man. I wasn't expecting Draenosh to be mentioned or brought up. Lordaeron. I wasn't expecting this either. Oh my god, this looks so good. Who's that? Oh. Lord Sarfang. Sparky boy, zappy boy. I wasn't expecting him either. His voice sounds kind of weird. And Sarfang is really silent, really quiet. This looks so good, I'm really excited. How many do you think? Oh, he took off the shoulder pad. Too many. Damn. Look at that. That's so good. 
there is no honor in this. Yes. They will come for us now. All of them. I'm so glad they put that in a cinematic now. She was smiling. God damn. My father, Hikazi. Hikazi. He fought with you in the third war. Oh, wow. I he told this. me stories. How you could cut down ten enemies with a single blow. Oh, man. He's so cool. This I'll... be my first battle. Really? <laughs> what should I do? He's nervous. Oh, man. <laughs> Don't die. <laughs> Don't die. <laughs> yes, of course. But... If I do fall, may it be with honor in glorious cause. Oh my god. There will be no glory today. Shit. I wasn't expecting this at all from Zarfang. Only pain. Oh, Dranosh. This is so good. God, I wasn't expecting this at all. To bring ice crown fields. Oh man. You have earned your warrior's death, my son. Oh man. Yet once again, I am denied it. I yeah. Sarfang is such a great character. Oh man, Warcraft 3 feels there from Gromash's death. What are you doing? Oh, that. Claiming what is mine. Oh, that. So that's where he got those tattoos. I don't really remember that he got those recently. Oh, he wants an honorable death. What is he doing? Is it, is he going in peacefully? The troll from earlier, he's coming now. Sounds like it. Yep. Go back. Oh, they have a friendship. Oh, he, he's acting like Sarfang. I said go back. Live another day. Go back to your father. Your father's dead. I isn't can't. It? He's dead. Oh, they've got such a good chemistry going the horde. on. It's all we have. Oh, he's... So, you know me. Is that it? What I've seen? What I've done? This is such a good movie. This is like a mini movie now. Oh, give up, boy. Like you? Oh, damn. He looks so up to... Well, he looks so up to Sarfang, like a father almost. Oh, this is such a good prologue to the original cinematic now. He's gonna convince him. Oh. Oh, this is such... Live. Another day. Yes. Listen to the young troll. I don't remember his name, sadly, but damn. Oh my god. Oh, there's such an acknowledgement that I love it. Here they come. They've got like a father and son relationship. Here we go. They're gonna get their armor on. For the horde. I hope there's more of these in the future, but this was phenomenal. My goodness, guys. That was astounding. That was a great way to pick up from last 
the last cinematic. Seriously, Blizzard planned this. You clever, clever company. They knew that the Horde would not be okay with what Sylvanas has done. They knew how we would react, and they preemptively planned this. They they made this knowing that we would respond to the Horde being dishonorable. So they focused on a mini-story with Sarfang and the Troll, a father and son-like story, no less. I was not expecting them to bring back Drenosh in this light. I was not expecting them to bring up the burning of Todrasil so quickly and so smoothly in how it looks. This looked good. This was amazing. I loved it. I loved the response between Sarfang. I loved the fact that they addressed that Sarfang has seen so much, done so much, and not all of it was good. Not all of it was positive. And you can see that this troll looks up to Vol- not Vol'jin, I'm sorry. You can see this troll looks up to Sarfang, and he likes Sarfang. He's like, you are a hero to me. He's like, even like, acting like him. He's like, taking off his armor, he's trying to make himself look like Sarfang. I think he even put those tattoos on him earlier. I didn't, I'm not gonna look back. I'll probably watch this like, 500 times after this, but this was amazing. This was the best way to pick up from last, the last cinematic on Monday or Tuesday, Tuesday, so like a few days ago. Great cinematic. I have nothing but good things to say about this. If you haven't, I for whatever reason, if you haven't watched this, go check it out now because, I mean, you just watched it with me now, but I was not expecting any of this. This was not expected at all. This this was came out of nowhere for Blizzard to do this. There was no hype to build it up. There was no addressing of it. But the heart of the Horde is still beating. It's not Sarfang, I believe. It's the whole Horde. But man, Sarfang was going to go out there and he was going to die. He was going to seek death. This makes perfect sense for what is to come. I can't, I'm not going to spoil anything, but this makes perfect sense what's coming up next. And I'm so glad that they addressed that Sarfang was not okay with burning of Tel- the burning of Toadrasil. I can't talk. I'm so glad that they brought that up with Sarfang. That he was not okay with Sylvanas. Because it just it's addressed in the book, but not in the, in the cinematic itself. Awesomely done. And they, and they addressed why his shoulder pad is missing now. It's because he took it off. Because he was making himself appear weaker, probably. Appear less than he was but anyways guys you can see now that why I like Sarfang probably why a lot of people like Sarfang the hate that Sarfang got or gets because he defies Sylvanas is un- unneeded it's not needed at all you this is amazing and I'm I'm lost for words right now this is a captivating piece it sh- it's it's almost like a mini World of Warcraft movie, and it was so good. So, thank you guys for watching. I'm Skull Shorties. I'll catch you guys next week for Ajara and the Stormwind cinematics and the Undercity cinematics. Not Stormwind. Pfft, I'm, I'm messing up so badly right now, guys. But that was beautiful. Go give that video a like. Go send it to your friends. Do whatever you can to support this cinematic, because it was good. I'll see you guys on Twitch or on World of Warcraft or on YouTube or wherever. So good. I loved it. I'll catch you guys later. See you.